Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today it's all about steak and shrimp with fried rice on a flat top grill. You guys stay tuned. So we just got over these uh, videos the last couple days about Philly style cheese steaks, leftovers. I just had my plethora of steak the last couple days. But I mentioned in, a, in the video, I said, if you got a flat top, the cheese steak has to be on the top priority, right? Like the top five. So today we're filming the hibachi style and that's gotta be a top five. So if you know anything about cooking, you know there's five mother sauces that basically are the foundation for all your sauces. We won't go through them. The second thing, what about our five best dishes on the flat top grill? One has gotta be the cheese steak. Two has gotta be a bocce. Let's say three is smash burgers. You guys fill in the other two. We're gonna come up with our own flat top grill community of the five most common iconic dishes that come off the flat top grill. You got it? Comment below and see what happens. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so let's see what we got here. Got a big old fat juicy ribeye. It's incredibly marbled. We only got one because I'm gonna show you guys a trick on that one. I did the lower count shrimp today just because I feel like once you cook it up, I always tell you to match the hatch. This is a perfect opportunity for that. What that means is basically once you eat something with a fork, you don't want anything too big. Uh, that way it's just like hitting the side of your mouth and it's just un uh, palatable, unedible. So a little bit smaller shrimp today. All right, with the steak, we're gonna do mushrooms. There we go, mushrooms. And then with the shrimp, we're gonna do the broccoli, a little bit of lemon juice, some garlic, and then we're gonna make our fried rice. You got it? Yes, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's go. Hey, look, <laughs> you guys always wonder what it's like. You guys always see this point of view. She has no, no idea I'm doing this. Look at this right Honey. here. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> She said it's too cold to film. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at that hat. What is she? What has she got on? House shoes, two pairs of sweatpants, and a jacket and a hat. Good Lord of mercy. All right. So here, here's something to look out for, um, especially if you're new in the beginning. Since this steak is so thick, I would not read, uh, recommend putting this on the flat top the way it is. I'm going to show you why. Get more bang for your buck. Just gonna take it and cut it right in half. You get both sides seared, and anytime you sear meat, I think it absorbs flavor a little bit more. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just. Why are you, we don't have a cutting board today in the house? Well, one of them was used for decorations for a party coming up, and the other one, I didn't want to get bloody to turn around and use it again. We're not gonna cut all the way through, I'll show you. See, there we go. Beautiful style steaks. Just like that. Now what happens is when you sear them, it's a little bit less thinner, so you don't have to sear them as long. And when you cut them, just like they do at the Japanese steakhouse, you don't have those big mammoth pieces and both sides get seared, which I think absorbs more flavor. All right, first things first, let's hit the rice. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking from this point forward. I've talked enough. I wanna do kind of like a, a natural flow of cooking. So what we're gonna do is try to cook everything at once. The biggest thing about bocce is you guys know that when you go to a steakhouse, they serve it to you in sections because it's so hard to fill uh, to feed like a table of 14, 16, 8, or something like that. Since it's just me and my wife, we're just going to do the whole thing at once, show you how easy it can be. And then, um, very few times will we do like ticks along the way, tips and tricks. All right, All right just got done washing my hands. Let's get started. First thing is fried rice. Let's keep the rice on the grill, keep going. Got my flat top, preheating to medium. About 450-ish. I'm gonna keep letting that temperature build. That way we get a good crust on our steaks. Stick of butter. White rice, here's a trick. Rinse it out pretty good before you do it and do it the day or the night before and that way it refrigerates. You rinse the rice. long grain white rice before you cook it. Rinse it with a starch. Make the rice according to the package. And we actually use jasmine rice. Yes. But any long grain white rice works. 
in the Navy, uh, the people that were that I learned a lot from were Filipino and they love jazz and rice. And this might not be 100% traditional, but every rice that comes in the household from now on has always been jazz and rice. I think it just has so much more flavor. All right, let's go to the common ingredients. Little peas and carrots for the fried rice. We have zucchini and we have onions. It smells good already. All right, good dash of salt and pepper. Be careful of your salt, especially for adding soy sauce, which we will in a moment, because that is very salty. Instead of bringing my cracked pepper, pepper out here, I bring the jar, because that's a lot of cracking. All right, make this a little well. You can use butter, I'll just use a little avocado oil. Come back in with just a little bit of garlic. Let that get fragrant, warm up on the flat top. We'll start mixing that in. All right, from this point on, it's basically a personal preference. Me and my wife both, both love the crunchy part of the rice. So we're gonna continue to cook the rice and keep it on the flat top as we cook the rest of our stuff. We're gonna finish this up real quick. Soy sauce. All right, for the vegetables, a little bit of the same thing. I try not to add too much because I like the taste of the vegetables. This is what we're gonna do. Everything's on medium right now as we build temperature. We started at what, 450? So to give you an idea, because I know a lot of people ask, it zaps the heat a lot. So we're about 425 to 400. So you can imagine how much heat it takes down. So we're going to try to build that back up. So the first thing we're going to do is just keep our vegetables over. They're going to be fine. I'm going to bring this side right here down to low. Okay, this is going to be our resting place for our rice. Smell like garlic. Mmm, so good. All right, don't forget about it over here because you have to rotate a little bit. Now we got a clean surface, okay? Allowing the, the heat to build back up. This is going to be the steak zone. Avocado oil. Yep, just a little bit of butter on both sides. Pepper. Yep. I know you guys think I'm crazy, but I love my cavender seasoning. So Let's what's going bottle. on? Huh? Let's see the bottle. It's nice, it's mild. It's one of my favorites. All right. I can see your reflection in the oil. Butter, we're gonna start our broccoli. Mm. 
Use a little bit of it down here for the shrimp. These green onions literally were just left over in the refrigerator. I had one stalk left. They're getting bad, so I thought I'm just gonna warm them up, put them on the rice. Has nothing to do with it. See that right there? Now me and my wife both like that. At this point, your rice and vegetables are done. If you don't like the rice being crispy, or something like that, go ahead and take it off. It's gonna clear up some more space on your flat top. But since we like it, I'm just gonna keep rotating it. For the people that ask me, just add a little bit of garlic and make it fragrant. For the people that ask you what? For the people that ask me, should I go with a smaller flat top grill? This is one of the very few times that I can honestly say, this is why I always tell you to go with a bigger flat top. Yes, it might be just you and some other person, but the amount of space that you have on the actual 36 inch is well worth it in my opinion when you look at the price tag. Now, obviously I'm not the one paying it, but I'm just telling you, when you ask me what my opinion is, this is a real reason why, whether it be smash burgers, you can always put hot dogs down here, you can warm up your chili here, toast your buns. The more space, the more things you're allowed to do on your flat top, and this is no different. Doesn't take long for your shrimp to cook. We're gonna hit the outside of these ribeyes since we didn't season this side. A lot of food for two people, honey. Look at that crust. You see that? That's what happens when you leave it alone. Don't touch it. Allow it to build that crust. Ooh. And I think you're gonna be surprised how much more flavor it has because of that. All right, shrimp are about done. We got the garlic in there. I'm gonna come back in and hit it with some lemon. That lemon's gonna help it steam. And then right here, I like my shrimp just a little bit sweet. I'm not using brown sugar or anything like that today. So this is the only thing that's gonna be sweet. Just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these steaks off, let them rest just for a second before we cut them up. Mushrooms gonna go back over all that steak fat and that juice from the steaks, let those finish. Our broccoli steaming. Getting those done. Shrimp are done. Mmm, that smells good. All right. I've always said residual heat will build. We're not done yet but I don't want my flat top to continue building with heat. So we got the mushrooms. Let's come over here. All right, so we got our steaks done. I'm not gonna carve on my flat top. That's why I've got the cutting board. You guys can see it's a nice rare color on the inside. So just coming in bite-sized pieces and we're gonna finish them right up with the mushrooms. you cooked it a little bit under because it's still going to continue to cook because you're putting it back on the grill correct we like ours medium rare so i want to cook it to the rare state a lot of times in a steakhouse you'll see them cut the beef on the flat top but that's a whole different flat top than the ones that 
or your average back backyard. All right, like I said, don't forget about your stuff. Rotate it. Mm. See that crust? That's what mommy and daddy like right there. <laughs> All right, mushrooms are getting done. Boy, it almost looks like we need the 48 inch version right now, honey. A little Worcestershire sauce, because I like it. And just finish that steak right into the mushroom. Guys, there you go. Quick and easy hibachi. We've done everything from steak, shrimp, mushrooms, broccoli, zucchini, onions, and the rice. We're going to get it all plated up and see how we did. All right, guys, there you go. Hey, simple and easy. Um, I hope I taught you a couple things. I definitely recommend the bigger flat top if you had the choice or if you had the chance to get one. Um, this was a party of two, but basically we have <laughs> our plates don't this simulate is cheap it. Day. And you guys wonder why we just did that low carb option for Philly second cheese and why I did not want the bread because we knew this was coming up and I was not cheating on this. There is no cauliflower rice in this crap. No. All right, get yourself some good old shrimp sauce. We call it yum yum sauce in the east. Come back in, hit it with some of that good old sriracha. <laughs> ah. Save yourself about 50 bucks. Make it at home. That damn beef is good. Mm. It looks good. That's good to rub off. Mm, 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 mm. All right, there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Have some people over, make hibachi at home. Peace. It's cold. Get it inside. Oh. Ah. Go, 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 go.